Okay, to create channels in Studio One Three, I prefer that you use the mixer section to create the different channels so that you can see how they are going to be aligned together with the other channel strips. Now look at this. When I right click this part, it's going to give me options. You can actually add a bass channel right here. You can add an effect channel. You can add a voltage control automation channel. Three types of channels can be created in Studio One Three Professional. Buses, effects and VCA control channels. Let me create about four buses. We shall look at the implementation of the buses later. To create a bus in Studio One Professional, I prefer that you use the mixer section. So I'll go ahead and open the mixer window here. Remember we have only one channel strip and that's the main output. So what we're going to do, I'm going to right click on this part. Remember one, two, three types of channels are available in Studio One 3 Professional. Create the bus for us. So when I click that, you see the bus channel has been created here. When I click there, I'm going to add the second bus channel. And when I click here again, and I'll add another bus channel, about three bus channels. As I create them on my mixer window, they are also being linked to my truck head. So let me go and rename them. I'm going to route all the signals that are coming from my lead vocals into this bus. And in this second bus, I'm going to route all the signals that are coming from my backup vocals. And in third bus is going to contain all signals coming from my instruments. And I'm going to direct every signal that is coming from my live instruments into the fourth bus. And that may include live acoustic, live electric, and live bass guitars. Sometimes I want to reduce cluster in my workflow, so I need to hide some elements. I'm going to click that in Shift and right click this part. And I'll say pack into a folder. So I pack all of them into a folder and I name the folder buses. So if I open the folder, you're going to see this folder is actually containing the buses for your lead vocal, the backup vocals, and also the MIDI instruments, and also the live instruments right there. So when I go to my mixer section, you're not going to see anything right there because you can just keep closing and opening this folder to view the channels that are within that folder onto the mixer view. The next type of channels that I want to create is the effect channel. The effect channel receives signal from the channel strip that activates the effect that is inserted onto the effect channel. So I'm going to create three effect channels. I'll add an effect channel here and I'll name it reverb. I'll insert a reverb effect onto it. And I'm going to create another one here. And on this effect channel, I'm going to insert a delay. And I'm going to create another one here. And I will insert uh, my chorus and flanger effects. Okay, so I have about three effect channels. As you can see at the track head, they are open. So when I press this and I press shift to select all of them, and I'll right click one of them. And then I'll have an option to pack them in a folder so that I remove the cluster in my workflow so i'm gonna store everything in a folder like that i would name this the effect channels all my effect channels are right here now the other type of channel that is available in studio one three professional is the voltage control automation channel vca channels in studio one three four you can use the vca channels to control the mute state of the main out channel strip I'm going to create about four VCA channels. So one of them is going to control the automation for all channel strips of the instruments. The second VCA is going to control the channel strips for all the vocals. Now when I move this level down, look at this automation lane. It's going to be moving up and down in sync to the VCA channel. So you can use that to make universal automation of the volume controls of the channel strips. Let me create another VCA channel for the MIDI instruments and I'll create another one for the effects channels. I still need to reduce my cluster. So if I click on this and type shift, I'm going to be packing them in a folder. And I will name this folder VCA. So I can actually put all the folders 
together into another folder and I call that folder mix down elements. So everything and all the folders have been put into one main folder called the mixdown element. Something very important about the VCA channels you need to understand. While all of them are selected, you can right click all of them to actually add a master VCA that is going to control all the VCA channels. If you do that, you're going to create a new VCA channel here and I will name it VCA control. Now when I move this slider, you see it's controlling the sliders of all the VCA channels. That means it's having a universal control over all these other VCA channels that I created earlier, okay? Okay, it was out. Let me just drag it into the folder so that I re continue to reduce my cluster. Now this VCA channel is controlling these other channels as you can see. I can move that down, up and down, and you can see all the automation lanes are moving down in sync to the main VCA volume slider. You can actually export the channels themselves so that every aspect that is happening within the channels, including the trucks that are in them, and also the automation and every other controls that are attributed to the channel, are gonna be exported into what we call stems or mix down files. In the next video, I wanna show you how to add and implement tracks.